What's good? What's good? Team BBE. One pride. And what's happening to my real BRC people? What's happening with my real BRC people? What's good? It's your man Mondo Raymore. B Dub, we up in this thing. What's cracking? Willis Churchwell, aka you should know what. Y'all follow a man on Facebook. If y'all give a damn still. Translation if you still rocking with the boy. And anyway, Lions recap. Victory lap, whatever you want to call it. No, we're going to call it a recap slash lap. In any event, Lions defense, once again, comes up big, 27-24. Again, another game where I feel we should have ran away with it. We should have ran away with all these games so far, y'all. Let's just be real. Let's just get that out the way. But, you know, I'm going to take I'm going to take solace in the fact that we won the last three against Philly. What's up, Desert Eagle? Shout out to Eagle Fan for Life, Eagle Speed, EDP45 Fizzle. Finally ate that pizzle. Salute, man. In any event. <laughs> and I know it, I know it's not fact. I'ma just throw this out there. Rashawn Melvin is the GOAT. <laughs> Nah, shout out to Rashad Belvin, though. That man ain't even healthy, and that, and that dude been balling this year. Matthew Stafford could have been better today. Stafford, uh, he kind of, that's funny. Normally, the thing with Stafford, he overthrows. He underthrew a couple passes today. But he didn't get set. He didn't throw no pick. He didn't fumble. So that's the most important thing. Stafford will be better. He'll be better next week for sure. In any event, Daryl Bevel, salute to him. Lions ain't abandoning the running game. I love that. Stick with it. You know, we're not going to become a running team if we keep running from the goddamn running game just because it's not running well. Okay, I wasn't trying, to, <laughs> wasn't trying to say that three. Don't say that three times in a row. But in any event. And one thing, you know, I don't feel we utilizing Kenny Galladay enough, man. I know it's going to come. Maybe I'm just being greedy. Maybe I'm being selfish. I don't know. But Kenny Galladay is, this dude is dope, y'all. We got to do something this year, man. You don't want him to bounce. You might want to start working on his pay t his contract now. But in any event, Darius Slay. I think, I think Slay was on his way to having a good game. These damn, him getting injured again yesterday, this is another reason why we need to acquire Jalen Ramsey. You know, what if we happen to be moving and grooving, we clicking, going right into the playoffs, he fuck around and get hurt, and we ain't even got this dude. Justin Coleman good, but Justin Coleman can't carry that secondary the way I've seen Slay carry it. And Slay ain't even always been stellar, but for the most part, Slay has carried that secondary. Man, I like the gag on fucking... Quadri Diggs and uh man, who else was that? Cause it wasn't just Diggs, it was somebody else too. I think it was Justin Coleman. Nelson Ag Nelson Aguilar, good move, boy. You dropped a lot of passes yesterday, but good shit though. That was a good move. I hated we gave that one up. I think we gave up a couple of scores in that game we shouldn't have gave up, but you know, like I said, Eagles is a good team. And Carson Wentz. I always respected Carson Wentz. I just earned more for him yesterday. He showed he showed me why Philadelphia got so much stock in him. Rightfully so. Carson Wentz is a beast. I salute that dude. Carson Wentz played his ass off yesterday for the most part. And we're gonna be real. I think his receivers let him down <laughs> at certain points of the game. And you should have